Hi, Bulby. What are you doing? Oh, I'm trying to be really still. How come? Because I'm trying to be a sculpture. Well, it's kind of cool, Bulby. You actually are a sculpture. Really? Yeah. A sculpture is a visual art. It's basically a creation of artistic objects, but it's three-dimensional in length, in width, in height. And it's really cool because there's different sizes and textures, there's light and shades, and the colors are really important. Whoa, so I'm a sculpture? Well, sure, sculpture can be round, it can stand on its own, it can be viewed from all sides, like this? Totally. Whoa, I'm getting dizzy. Yeah, Bobby, I think we're gonna have a fun time today learning about sculpture. And I am one. Yeah, you are. This sculpture is a ballet dancer that Edgar Degas made. It's entitled Little Dancer, age 14. And he made her out of bronze. This artwork is entitled Spring by Dom Barbara Hepworth. She was inspired by pebbles, shells, cliffs, and the sea. She was interested not only how a sculpture looks, but how it feels and even how it smells. This is a mobile by Alexander Calder. And imagine what this would look like if the wind was blowing. He used primary colors like red, yellow, and blue. Lots of artists make abstract designs. This artist's name is Tony Cragg, and he made art out of all sorts of scrap materials he found. It's entitled Stack. What a perfect example. Look at all those layers. And he made it into a really tight cube. I wonder how it was made. This artist made art on a very long walk in another country called Algeria. What he would do is he would go on a walk and he would make sculptures from things he found, like rocks or leaves, and he would make them into circles or straight lines. Maybe next time you're on a walk, you could make a sculpture too. We need to get some ideas for our sculptures. We're gonna take a close look at Anthony Caro's sculptures. I'm looking at them and what I notice is it looks as if something's about to happen. I wonder how he gets them to balance. I see circles and squares. I wonder how he gets them to stand up. I even see edges. Hmm, maybe this is something we could do in our sculpture. Maybe it might help to sketch out some of our ideas or draw some of the things that we're gonna later cut out and use in our own sculpture. Miss Fisher? Yeah, Bobby. I really like learning about sculpture, but I think my favorite one was Sir Anthony Caro, the British sculpture. He made a new kind of sculpture. It didn't really look like anything else. I like different colors. I like his different shapes. It almost seemed like he was solving a puzzle and all the pieces were falling out. Super cool. I want to build a sculpture. You do, Bobby? Yeah. And I think I have the right materials. I'm gonna get some cardboard. I'm gonna get some paper. I'm gonna use some scissors. <laughs> ah, scissors! I'm gonna use safety. And uh, maybe some color. Sounds good, Bobby. Let's get it together. Let's make something. I'm gonna do is draw some lines on my paper because later I'm gonna use my scissors to cut out these lines and then I'm going to attach them to my harder surface. If you don't have a cardboard surface, you can still attach them to your paper. I also have some tape, easy to use, but you can use all sorts of tape. You might use scotch tape, packing tape, and I'm gonna add color to my strips, but you could also use paint, just depends on what you're in the mood to do. making a wave and then my scissors are gonna cut out this wave that's gonna be in my sculpture and I'm also gonna make how about pointy Ooh, it looks like a shark fin like some shark fins monster teeth dinosaur teeth so now I have one slice there I have one piece there now I'm just gonna make a little curvy wobbly line and maybe make 
something with a really big spiral. And I'm gonna make something down here. That's whatever I feel like drawing. Just some shapes. I can even just make a straight line. Next, I'm gonna color some of these things with some color. So it looks a little more interesting. And you can use markers, pens, crayons, whatever you decide. And I'm gonna add some lines to have more texture in my school. I'm going to take my scissors and cut out some of the different designs that I made. Remember the black sharpie was kind of where I was going to cut, so I'm just following the black sharpie. So I'm making strips of paper and I can pretty much use everything, so don't throw anything away. And if you don't like to strips of paper, you don't want to do so much coloring, you can use construction paper, different colors. You can even use something you got in the mail that your parents might be throwing away. Maybe newspaper ad, maybe something from the mail. It could be anything. So scraps of paper, different colors, different types of paper, smooth, rough, flimsy, hard, you decide. Now that I have all my pieces cut out, I have to think about how I want to put them onto my harder surface, my cardboard, so they can stand up. Might have some like this. I might have some just going straight up. I can take some of them and bend them forwards and backwards and forwards and backwards. I call this accordion folding, forwards and backwards. Pops up a little. I can even just bend it in half and let it go up a little bit. Basically, I want it to be able to be seen from all angles, three-dimensional. That's what makes sculpture super cool. Now I'm gonna assemble my sculpture. Got some tape, I'm just gonna bend this one up, tape one side, tape the other side. Looks like an amusement park. Whoosh. Big slide. This one I'm just gonna bend a little bit. Stick it over here. Let's see, oh, I like the swirly one. Let's see if I can use part of this piece. Put my swirly. I gotta have my wave in there. Put that on the side. It's getting there. I still have a few more pieces. I have made a paper sculpture. You can look at it from all angles and all sizes.
This is my sexual paper sculpture. Can't wait to see yours. What? You want to change the paper sculpture into a... Um... Funky... Junky... Sculpture! Funky Junky Sculpture! What's a Funky Junky Sculpture? Well, really, it's using anything. Lollipop sticks, you could use paper plates, like these, you could use anything you find in your drunk drawer, and basically, odds and ends that you think might work. Maybe a card to something that you don't have all the rest of the pieces to. Even a band-aid. And you put it together. Oh, sounds fun. Can I be involved? Can I be in a sculpture since I am a sculpture? Totally, Bobby. We'll save you for last. You know what they say. Save the best for last. Oh, bright idea. I got you. I stuck you to an old scotch tape dispenser that's completely empty. Sounds a little sticky. It is, but I think you're going to be okay. Oh, a little dizzy. I got you. Oh, right by the waves. Hey, I'm getting a little hot. Want to think you could help me with something? Sure. How about an umbrella? Ooh, sounds awesome. We'll stick that right there, Bobby. Keep you protected from sun. Well, that's our funky junky sculpture for today. Can't wait to see what you all make. Well, Bobby, your creation is quite amazing. Thanks. I think all we have left to do is to come up with a title. What should we call this amazing three-dimensional sculpture, funky junky style? Hmm, I got lots of good ideas. I know. Well, what do you think we should call it? Uh, how about Sticky Situation? Or Bobby and the Waves? Or, hmm, I like all of them. I think you have some really great ideas, Bulby. However you want to name it, go for it. Thanks, Mr. Fisher. You got it, dude. And I hope all of you come up with some cool, funky, junky sculptures as well. <laughs>